Hello, Rob Howe here from Diabetics Doing Things, and welcome to my first venture into the YouTube world with the 30-day over-the-counter T1D challenge. Over the next 30 days, I will be disconnecting from my Medtronic pump and my Humalog insulin and treating my type 1 diabetes with completely over-the-counter alternatives. So where did this idea come from? Uh, well, in the fall of 2017, I was fortunate enough to be able to sit down with some executives from Medtronic Diabetes, and I asked them what they thought their most common patient complaint was. And without hesitation, they told me, cost. Our most common complaint is that treatment of T1D is expensive. The average annual out-of-pocket cost for pump therapy in the United States is around $2,500 US, not including insurance premiums or out-of-pocket costs for pump supplies or prescription copays and insulin and test strips. We all know it, T1D is expensive. In fact, for me personally, fear of the cost of diabetes without insurance prevented me and prohibited me from leaving the comfort of my job because I was afraid I wouldn't be able to afford to treat my type 1 without the safety net my insurance provided me. Fortunately, I made the jump anyway, and with the support of some members of the diabetes community, I'm here today, and now I have insurance again, so that's all great. Uh, like many problems in life, it just seems like I wasn't asking the right questions. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do in this 30 days. Ask the right questions, get the right answers, and see if you can do this. So for the next 30 days, I'll treat my T1D with over-the-counter insulin. So I've got some R right here, and I've also got some N, NPH. Um, and I'll use my prescription-free one-drop meter and test strips um, and attempt to treat my diabetes for an out-of-pocket cost of around 150 US dollars per month, so significantly less than the national average, uh, and relatively affordable if you found yourself in a pinch. Each day I will document my findings on this YouTube channel, so subscribe, and I'll give you an update as to how things are going. For the purposes of data collection, I'm also going to wear a Dexcom G5 uh, continuous glucose monitor so that I can get a 24-hour picture each day and share that with you of how my blood sugars are trending, what I've learned, what, what I went through from a meals and an exercise perspective, and just share that journey and strictly for data collection. Obviously, this is the only part of the journey that will be non-over-the-counter that I have a prescription for my Dexcom. I should note that I'm entering this experiment under the supervision of a certified diabetes educator and with the approval from my doctor, so I'm being safe. Each day I will give you an update as to what my day was like, what I ate, how much insulin I took, and review the last 24 hours on my CGM. I'll also be logging numbers in the OneDrop app and using the expert function within the app so I'll be able to get real-time live advice from a CDE without any copays or premiums just the normal pocket out-of-pocket cost for the OneDrop subscription, which is around $30 per month. If you want to learn about their great service, which I use and really enjoy, click the link in the description of this video. I do have to disclose that they are a supporter of diabetics doing things, but only after I got so addicted to their product that I had to keep using it. I would have used it here even without their support, so it's important to notice, or to note. My hypothesis for the entire 30 days is that I'll be able to maintain good control of my diabetes within a variance of about 0.25 on the hemoglobin A1C scale. My hemoglobin A1C is 6.3 at my last uh, doctor's appointment and has been as low as 6.1 in the last six months. So I imagine my A1C will either go up or down uh, to a 6.1 or around a 6.5. However, the biggest thing I, I anticipate is that the convenience factor my pump provides me will be my biggest loss. It does make me think of the famous quote of Stoic philosopher Seneca when he said, set aside a certain number of days during which you shall be content with the scantiest and cheapest fare, with coarse and rough dress, saying to yourself the while, is this the condition that I feared? It may be tougher than I'm used to, uh, but ultimately I think I will get the answer that you are able to treat T1D successfully for somewhere in the neighborhood of $1,500 per year. Uh, which is obviously about a thousand dollars less than the national average of uh, prescription costs for T1Ds. So follow me on this journey, subscribe to this channel, share this with any T1Ds you know or any T1D publications that you think would benefit from this type of information. And give me a follow on Instagram at robhow21 or at Diabetics Doing Things. I'm looking forward to this journey and I'm so happy to have you as a part of it. Please message me with any tips or tricks uh, and just come back and check in and we'll go on this journey together.